Four more, pal. You're doing just fine, honey, just fine. She likes me. <laughs> <laughs> Diane, uh -huh. what'd you call this again? Oh, that's sauerkraut. Auto dancing who brought it over special. You like it? It's different. <laughs> Howdy. You gentlemen plan on staying long? Maybe. You're the owner? I am indeed, sir. And you might be interested in this, Mr. Denny. Look familiar? Sure. It's a mortgage. <laughs> on my saloon? It says here, I'm part owner. Looks like a nice place. By the by, we're a mad thirsty, too. Partner, just a minute, you let me see that. Well, you know this ain't real. Listen, son. This is in my saloon. Locks, talking, barrels. Everything all right there, Zach? Now you get out of here, or I will carry you out. That's so, old man. That's right. Think you would spook yourself. Jack! I'm telling you, that was my horse. Then why did they have a bill of sale? <laughs> I never saw any money, so I took it back. Well, you can argue that in court, Couteau. Hey, Marshal! I've been arrested for no reason. me, you know? You think that's right, Bennett? That's the law. That's no answer. It was my horse! Looks better already, Jack. What inspired you? Sent word to Fort Benton. Get a new marshal. What? 
Should be here in a week or two. What's going on, Jack? I'm quitting. Why? Ain't none of your affair. Marshall's gonna be after us. I say we get him first. Hey, he's going right by. What exactly happened in here? Uh, everything's fine now, Cor Corporal. It's just fine. Shame about Pearl, though. It's just a freak happening. Marshal drew on a cowboy, and uh, Pearl got in the way. Cowboy ran out. Everything all right, Zach? I've had a few surprises lately. This here is a friend of mine. Cajun fella. Just call him Frenchie. <laughs> Frenchie's part owner in the saloon now. I sold him part of it. We'd be good friends, Monty. So the shooting was an accident? It's a bad thing to see a man so sloppy with his guns, eh, Monty? Tree, Mountie. What's going on, Zach? Like the man said, it's just a little entertainment. This is the USA, Corporal. And I don't believe we're breaking any laws here. Canadian or American. <laughs> First time you do, I'm on you. Hey, Mountie! Come back sometime. You can drink for free here. We'll keep fighting. We got money on yes. this. I need your help, Jack. Have you seen what's happening over at the saloon? Fort Benton will send a man soon enough. So you're really quitting? You leave your side of town to the skater gang, and someone's going to get killed. You're always saying how you can do the job without me. Go ahead, handle it. I can't arrest them, Jack. You know that, and they know that. They're holding Zach and Diane hostage. I wouldn't be of any help to you. You were doing your job. Yeah, well, that woman's dead because of me and my job. Well, there are a lot of people walking around alive because of you. Including me. 
Yeah, well, I guess you're the lucky ones then, ain't you? Jack, you have to put this behind you. Decisions made. So you're just gonna sit in here for the rest of your life? Well, if you're gonna turn your back on this town, get out, because I don't want you here. Looking for another girl to shoot? Did Jack leave? It doesn't matter right now. It doesn't matter? Oh. I thought you were his friend. You've seen the town. People are afraid to leave their homes. The town will survive. What about him? I need his help. Or Frenchie's gang will take this town. Perhaps he needs your help. It was an accident. His first responsibility is to border town. You really don't understand, do you? If you see him, explain to him about duty. Hey, Bennett, maybe I'd be out of here sooner than you think. Friend, she's gone, and there is no more shot. Oh, shut up, Couteau! We had a sweet deal here. And now... He had it coming! Do you have a brain in that head of yours? You try to kill a marshal. He ain't dead! That Mountie will make real trouble for us now. Hello, Jack. I already had my talking to, Marie. I'm sorry about what happened to Pearl. Yeah, me too. You know, there's a thin line between being a lawman and a killer. I think I crossed it. You know that is not true. Yeah, an accident. I keep saying that to myself. I've killed plenty of other times. But what, Jack? All the other times, in the war, in Mexico and Texas, I never felt them die. But I was carrying Pearl in my arms when I felt her heart stop. Jack, listen to me. I felt the life go out of her, Marie. My bullet did that. Maybe we can make a deal. We don't start trouble on your side. And you don't come looking for any on ours. Nope. What happened on Main Street will not happen again. And both sides of the town are mine. Remember that. But you know, Corporal, the boys, they can do a lot of hurting here. The law will outlast you, Frenchie. How will the Canadians pay you, Mountie? We can do better.
don't you get out of here? Remember, you're alone. You have to sleep sometime. When you do, bang it. I'm not alone. Meet the new marshal. Blackie's eyes narrowed into slits as he faced down Sam to Pony. He's gonna kill him, eh? Okay, get your stuff. I'll just get into the good part. You help me with this, Couteau. And you're a free man. You have a strange faith, go. Why? Why shouldn't that walk away? Because if you do, be assured that I will catch you, and you'll hang. Looks like you will be getting your saloon back sooner than expected. Excuse me. Madame, we'll take your savings. It's in the bank. Oh. Then we will have it soon enough. Over my dead body! Oh. What will we do now? Don't much matter. It will matter again. And when it does, you'll find yourself with nothing but bad memories. Ain't much different from what I got now. Come home. Is that all you want? Me to come back, kill some more people for you? No. If you run now, you run for the rest of your life. Yeah, well, maybe that's what I want. If I believed that, I wouldn't be here. <sighs> Marie, just leave me be! Jack, both of us are responsible for life and death. Do you think I've never lost a patient? Yeah, well, that's different. No, it's not. In our jobs, death is always with us. We both have to look past the defeats. Yeah, well, too bad Pearl ain't here to hear that. Do what you want, then, Jack Craddock. Hide. Or stand up and face it. Time to earn your freedom. Hold it right there. Another one. He's inside. Just let me pass, Corporal, or she dies! Drop him! Get her! Guess I'm holding a natural target for you, hey, Craddock? You ain't getting by me. You gonna shoot her, too? I've done it before. Just let me go. She lives. What more are you, Craddock? Don't shoot. Please, don't shoot. Doc! Just a salute. 
him, girl. So, Clive, you're going to go after Couteau? No. I think he earned his freedom. Yeah. You know, Clive, I showed you something I didn't know I had in me. I let you down. Well, I was pretty rough on you. I'm sorry. Well, now, don't go apologizing to me. You know, Clive, when you're right, you're right. And you were right. You were right. Back on my side, Jack? Like a burr under your saddle. Howdy, Marie. Hello, Jack. Wife wore this uh, all the time. Looked right pretty on her. Oh, no, I can't accept that. Just take it, Marie. I'm obliged to you. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Marie. <laughs> 